Well, in addition to October being National Manufacturers Month, it's also National Archaeology Month. Earlier, I was able to sit down with Stephanie Stutz, a member of the Oklahoma Anthropological Society, to talk about why they like digging up the past. So Stephanie, October is Archaeology Month in here in Oklahoma. What's going to happen? Archaeology Month is a statewide month-long series of events um, that will be hosted throughout the state by um, the archaeological community for the public. There'll be events like flint napping and um, research presentations, but hands-on things. It's family fun. And these are events that are that are scheduled throughout the week. I, I've got the list here and that's from the website. I do want to ask you about one, that it's the mammoth site, and, and I, I may mess up the word here, it's called uh, atolotl throwing? Right, atolotl throwing. So what that is is like pre-bow and arrow technology. It's a long piece of wood and it's a spear thrower, so you attach the spear to the end and launch it at a mammoth mm -hmm. or a bison. Now you are currently an archaeology student, correct? Yes. But there are other, I will call them amateurs or enthusiasts that are also involved in the society. Right. So the society is built with uh, professionals and amateurs or avocationalists. The role there, it's really, it, it would be difficult for either group to function without the other. So professionals need people in the community that know about archaeology and preservation because they're, they're the feet on the ground. So it, it's hard to cover a lot of ground when, you know, you have a handful of archaeologists at a university, but if we can utilize the whole community of people interested in archaeology, it really helps everyone. Now, our Lisa Hines is definitely an enthusiast, has gone on some digs with you guys, and I just want you to describe what one of your digs are like. You wake up early in the morning, because it's typically when it's hot out, I mean it's Oklahoma, so it's hot most of the year, and um, yeah, everybody heads down to the site, start digging together. It's a very, archaeology is a very communal very hands-on. Yes, very hands-on. Very, very hands-on, very dirty hands-on from yeah. what I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it fair to say this is a very exacting <laughs> hobby? Yes, it's very fair to say that. Uh -huh. Because, I mean, you will literally be digging in maybe a, a few foot area over the course of a day? Yeah, it's typically like a meter by meter square and you go down Centimeter by centimeter, ideally, so you can see everything. Yeah, it's very um, exacting. What kind of tools do you use to do that? So we use trowels, um, but like what masons use, not gardeners. So they're flat trowels, not the shuffle-shaped brushes. If, if you get into bone, maybe a bamboo stick. So. What's it feel like the first time, or I guess any time, when you find something that's literally been out of sight for decades, centuries? It's really amazing to see something that hasn't seen the light of day for thousands of years, I think is very, it's a physical reaction because those things were left by people who have long since passed and all we have left are these stone tools. And I guess it should be said, you know, while we are a relatively young state, it's not like we don't have a lot of history. There's so much history here. I mean, there's such a diverse population of people that I think, you know, sure, Archaeology Month is about the archaeology, but it's also about bringing these communities together to learn about each other and to learn from each other. Um, so it's community building as well. Earlier, Stephanie, you mentioned flint napping. What is that? Flint napping is the way that stone tools are made. So just knocking flakes off rocks, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, and that would be a really fun activity for the whole family to view and maybe the older kids to take a shot at. Now, the people that get involved in this, what can they do besides these digs, besides these events? What, what, what happens throughout the year? Oh yes, Oklahoma Anthropological Society has uh, meetings throughout the year where they bring in speakers to speak um, to the groups, and those might be tribal archaeologists or um, academic archaeologists, federal or state agents. So if someone has an interest in this, what can they do to get involved? Well, there are, are OAS chapters across the state, um, and you can contact your local representative. Um, they have a website, so you mm -hmm. can find information there. So they can go on, on the web and find the same listing that I have of all the events that are happening this month? Right, so we have a Facebook page. It'll have all the lists, and then as the events get closer, it will be updated so that people know exactly where to go and when to go and um, what things are happening around the state. Stephanie, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, if you would like to see more of digs all across the state, our Lisa Hines went out on a couple of them, and we have those on our website. Just go to okhorizon.com and click on this week's Value Added.